Hello everyone, my name is Arvin, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at set 77013, this is the Escape from the Lost Tomb. This set has 600 pieces, uh, four minifigures being Marion, Ravenwood, Indiana Jones, Sala for the first time, as well as a mummy minifigure that's sort of built into the set. Um, there's, I think the build is really nice, it's chocked full of play features, it's an amazing play set, and I think it's a decent display set as well. It has some really nice stickers, it for sure does have a lot of stickers, but I think those stickers add necessary detail, which they're totally required, and if they were printed, the set would be astronomically more astronomically more expensive. Um, so... Getting into this set, I'll take a look at the build, then the minifigures, then the box, then give you my final thoughts on this. Alright, so here is the build. So you've got the base there, two statues, the uh, Ark of the Covenant, um, the back wall with a lot of detailing on it, and play functions throughout it. You've got the snakes on the ground, you can put your minifigures around and do a lot of things with this set. So, um, you've got the two statues here, they can each spin. Um, whichever way you would like them to. You know, the backs, they continue that black and yellow color, and I think that's quite good. Um, you know, you're going to see those inverted studs no matter what, so I think keeping the color is really nice. One thing I must say that I was worried about was around the neck area you had red pieces, um, uh, to you used uh, while you were building it up and I was a bit worried that you were going to be able to see those red pieces through the build and you can't which is really nice and I'm very happy with that I think the statues look quite good um, so this one just it stays there it's stationary you can move around but it's stationary it's stuck in place you're not moving it um, this one on the other hand is part of a play function you turn this going to knock that over and knock over that back wall there, play function number one. Um, the ground here is filled with snakes like it is with the scene. Of course, there's less snakes than there were with the scene, which you could add a bunch of snakes, but I'm impressed with how much space uh, one snake fills. It, it does fill the space pretty good. I guess you don't have anything back here, but you have a nice area to display your minifigures, which if it was full of snakes, you wouldn't be able to. You have this little area with the arc there and some more stickers that I'll show you at the side. Um, those stickers at the back, I think, are really nice ones as well. A few holes in the wall, which really add some needed and nice depth to it. I like the use of dark orange, tan, and dark tan with the little hints of uh, dark blue in there as well. So, um, just turning this around, you can see some more details. Um, I think that sticker is an interesting one because um, this piece right here is the 2x6 plate, um, but this one, which takes up 2x6 uh, plates worth of stickers, is a 2x4 combined with a 2x2 plate. I don't know why they didn't just use a 2x6. It doesn't seem to me in any way to compromise the design and it's just interesting that they didn't just do one larger sticker um you've got a really large sticker here for the wall and one thing building it up was an issue for me was the fact that it's a very plain wall compared to the others you have a lot of depth a lot of grooves some holes um but this wall is very flat you have one large piece there and then this flat area here but i've come to realize that that is needed because if you, if it was, had a bunch of holes, a lot of grooves, the chance of this play function falling over and trying to uh, tip over the wall could go wrong. It could get caught, it could do many things, and it's just better, I think, um, that it's flat and it makes sense. Uh, coming to the back, you have, you can of course see the insides of the set, which is not ideal, but you're going to display it or play with it from that way until you get around to this and you've knocked over the wall. You can have Indy and Marion go in there. Here's another play function here, which is a dropping snake function. You're going to move this lever and it's going to fall down. It's quite simple. It just tips over and it falls over. It works well and it's a nice one. Um, it's, it's a nice function. Um, coming to the side, you have a cool sticker there for C-3PO and R2-D2. Uh, which I believe was in the original set, so it's nice to see that here. These walls are very sturdy with these Technic pins and beams. It's it's a very sturdy build, um, and it 
for sure I feel like could hold up to play, which is, of course, the uh, intent, I would say, of this set. It's not a display set, it is a play set. It's got a lot of play functions, and those are some good play functions, uh, taking the arc out here. Um, here it is. Um, it's not all golden, but I like that the stickers that are added to the brick here do have gold accents to it. I think that's quite nice. Um, I like how this uh, just beam sort of just goes all across. It's quite nice. Um, and it just clicks onto that one stud at the back there. Um, so now just showing you the other, the bigger play function here of knocking over the wall. Um, you... Uh, so there's this piece right here. You don't need it. You could just tip over the, uh, if you wanted to. Of course, one thing here is um, you have a rubber piece here to uh, um, deaden the fall um, of the wall, not damaging your table, your floor, or your bricks. Um, so you can just tip it over. It falls over quite easily. You can really have the character or the statue at any direction. Um, it's sort of... It just, it flattens out no matter what. So um, you can have it really at any angle and it falls quite nicely. I think it's a really well done play function. Um, and of course, moving in there, you have your characters get to this point where they are faced with this little sticker here with the eyes, but also our fourth minifigure, uh, the mummy, which you just pull this pin out and it falls down. It's a nice play function. It's a simple one, but a really, really good one. Um, and that is the set, chocked full of play functions, a decent display set, but one that I think is a really fun set, a fun build, and one that I just really enjoyed, so it's just playing around with it, playing, trying out these play functions for this review, it's just been fun, and it's a fun set, and I, I really would recommend it. Um, so I'll just move on to the minifigures right, now. So here are the four minifigures, Sala, the Mummy, Marion. Ravenwood, and Indiana Jones. Um, Sala, I think the biggest standout of this set, it is the first time we've got him in a Lego Indiana Jones set. And me being, having some of the previous sets, I have most of these characters, even though I never actually had this set. Um, but uh, just starting with him, I think uh, it's a nice uh, figure. I like the torso printing. I really like that face print. Um, the back torso printing is nice as well. I don't think he needs light printing, um, but I really do quite like that face print. I think it's uh, a really nice one. Um, the mummy minifigure is a bit of, it's a well-detailed figure, um, but being that it's printed onto a darker color, the uh, dark sand color and the, uh, the dark tan color that the tan color is printed on really comes off quite faded, uh, which you see in the face, the torso, as well as the legs. Um, but a very detailed minifigure nonetheless, and a nice inclusion that you don't really see, but it works in a nice play function. Uh, Marion Ravenwood here is one that I was really pleasantly surprised by, um, just because of how well printed it is. Of course, you have a little bit of, uh, of the, uh, it's not great there, um, but I, I'm just happy that there's a minifigure here that is really printed quite nicely. You can have a lot of figures be quite faded, so being printed onto a light color, it's nice to see the skin tones uh, shine through correctly and not very faded like you see on quite a few minifigures. Um, the face print there has, there, she's got two, uh, there is one, and there is the second scared expression where you can see the back torso printing, and she's got a torch there. And I think with the dual molded legs, it's a really, really nice minifigure. Indiana Jones here is the uh, easiest or the cheapest way to get a very basic Indiana Jones minifigure. He's got gloves here, his satchel, his whip, um, the same uh, face print as the one that comes in the fighter plane chase, a smiling expression, and a more um, curious expression. Uh, the hat hair combo is a really nice one. The torso print here has just got his shirt underneath with the jacket on top. The uh, light printing is simple but very, very nice. I quite like it. It's very similar to that original Indiana Jones figure and totally makes sense. That was a really nice minifigure and it makes sense that this one made the necessary improvements uh, adding to the hair piece there 
Um, of course, the skin tone being printed on that brown color is not great. Same for the shirt or underneath. Um, but overall, good figures. Um, a few of them, like the Mummy and the Indiana Jones, the printing is not the best. I'm quite impressed with the Marion. I think Sala is really great with a really good facial expression. And uh, that's the minifigures. Now I'll just go to my final thoughts on this set. So I uh, got this set April 1st when I got the fighter plane chase. I built that right away. And I spent a while uh, before I built this set. I think it's a really good set. It was just not one that I wanted or had time, I guess, to build right away. And I'm happy. I'm really happy I did build it because I think it's an absolutely amazing, amazing set. Um, the play features are so great, and I'm sure I would have had a hell of a good time playing with this set because it is a really, really good one. Um, the minifigures are really nice. They're well detailed. I was really impressed by the printing on the Marion uh, minifigure. I thought the printing on the white dress was just really well done. Of course, it, on a light color it should, um, but I'm just happy the printing wasn't faded and it was really, really nice to see that because I feel like I haven't seen skin tones printed on a minifigure torso or legs well done in a while, so it was really nice to see that. The stickers added some really nicely and needed detail, and uh, it just, it was a really fun build. Um, I, I guess um, critiques on the set, like I mentioned in the review. The clips um, for the snakes, maybe a bit of a lack of snakes, there's a bit of, um, there's not a ton of detailing on that black wall that does have the, the back wall that has the play function. That totally makes sense as it needs to be plain so that when the Sphinx falls over, or sorry, when the statue falls over, it can't, um, it won't get hooked on anything. If you had like holes in there and more grooved parts, it just could get hooked on something. So making it a flat piece totally makes sense. Um, I think the minifigures are really great. Getting Sala here for the first time was quite nice. The Indiana Jones, getting a basic Indiana Jones minifigure in a uh, cheaper set is quite nice, considering that the only other way to get one would be in the $200 set. We're going back to get one of the original ones, but if you want a new one here with that really nice new hair piece, you can get one here. Overall, a really great set. I totally recommend it. I guess it's not like an amazing display set, but I think it's a really fun build, and it ends up as a really nice Indiana Jones Lego set, and I totally would recommend this one.